All right, welcome everyone. We're joined by head coach Nikki Izzo Brown. We'll go ahead and uh, start with an opening statement from coach, then we'll open it up to questions. Yeah, I mean, the the biggest thing I just said to the team, we could we could do whatever we want um, prior and up until this game, but if they didn't show that effort and that execution, um, we wouldn't have just beat the fifth best team in the country. I'm so proud of this team and how they came out with uh, intensity, um, effort, and um, focus. Oh, I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> Sam Canario, you go ahead. Hey, Coach. Good to see you again, and congratulations on the win. Um, you know, does it kind of feel like you're in the mid middle of the season right now? Kind of your first game back is not your first game back. Your first game back home is a top five, top ten matchup. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it almost feels like pre a little like a non-conference preseason type thing because typically, you know, that's when we're the, seeing the likes of the Dukes and the Virginias and uh, the Penn States of the world. So, um, you know, but this was this was such a, an important game for us um, and a barometer of where we are and, and where we have to continue to be going into this NCAA tournament. Sam, you can keep going. You just said this is a barometer. So how do, how do you feel your team stacking up right now? You know, we're, we're never happy when we don't have a shutout. Um, so I know a lot of us were disappointed um, that we allowed Duke to put two on us. Um, but, you know, it's, it, it's a great opportunity when we fail at something um, inside the game and for us to still come up on top and let two goals in that just really – speaks volumes uh, to the character of this team and what we were able to do today. Kevin Kinder, go ahead. Nikki, this may be a little bit of a longer term question, but getting wins like this, normally, you know, when you said in the preseason, it's a long time till the tournament. This is right up against the tournament. And since it looks like it's going to be at the one location, kind of like basketball was, are these games going to really have more effect even than conference games in setting the seeds and who you're playing? Kevin, you, you hit a home run. I, I, I do think that this game um, is going to affect seeding. You know, so I, you know, as much as this is all uncharted territory for me, and I, I wish I could answer your question and, and feel really confident, you know, we, um, but I, I, I know that um, this, this type of win really puts us on the map because everyone knows the quality of Duke. Sam, go ahead. Coach, it looked like you guys were scoring from, you know, wherever you really wanted. You had the nice goal in the beginning off all the set piece and then another one from the press. How did you feel like your attack was going today? Yeah, I mean, I, as I spoke to the team, um, six shots on goal three, you know, three of them go in. Um, any coach would love that percentage. You know, it's, it's interesting since 2010, um, we've, we've beaten um, a top 10 opponent here at Dick Delusk. So this, this team really wanted to make sure that uh, we had an opportunity to keep that 11 year streak going. Um, you know, and I can't, I can't speak to Duke enough. What a, what a great team they are, but also um, just the character of this team today. Any other, oh, Sam, go ahead. Last one for me, coach. Um, you know, it's been a long kind of a long road getting here, you know, from the end of the fall, now going into the spring. What was that like mentally preparing, you know, after finishing conference play, then you have a, several months until you really kind of start playing games that really count. It's, I, you know, I give this, this team so much credit for staying focused, staying safe. Um, it is, it is just, you know, as a coach, I, I, you worry about X's and O's and right now we have to worry, you know, about safety and I could worry all I want, but if they're not sacrificing and doing it, then um, it means nothing. So there's so much pressure on these kids right now, these athletes and, for them to, um, you know, walk walk that straight line, I'm just so proud of them. And, you know, the vaccines are coming, so that's good. But um, with that being said, 
And then, you know, usually Christmas is our time, um, you know, to kind of break, like you said, and for them to stay focused, engaged in their fitness and their uh, mentality of games uh, was, it, it's, it's really fun for me to watch what type of team this is. And 25 years I've been doing it and, um, you know, it's a great team to be part of. All right, any other questions for coach? All right, thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, thanks everyone.